Here is an example to show how to draw the graph for a given relation. Um, so the question is, this relation is given, which is uh, a set that contains two tuples uh, in the form of x, comma y, such that x and y are related to each other in the form of x plus y squared is less than or equal 17, assuming x and y are two numbers that are drawn from the set of natural numbers. So the question is, uh, draw the diagraph the digraph representing this relation R. Um, the best thing to do is first uh, figure out um, what are the two tuples inside this uh, relation set. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, um, so this relation R is a set that contains a bunch of two tuples. And you can see, um, of course, x cannot be 5 because set of natural number uh, is the set that um, starts with uh, integer 0, and then 1, 2, and 3, and so on and so forth. So it's an infinite set. Um, in some book, it is start with, with 1, but um, general acceptance for this set of natural numbers is it is start with a 0. Uh, so if you consider, for example, x equal to 5, the smallest you can have for y would be 0. Then you will have 5 plus 0 squared, which is 25, and that does not satisfy this requirement. So therefore, neither x nor y can be 5. The highest we can have for x or y would be 4. For example, if you pick x equal to 4, then, uh, of course, y can be 0, uh, which is an acceptable choice from the set of natural numbers. So you would have 4 plus 0 to squared, so that is 16, which is less than 17, and that satisfies this requirement. So 4, 0 is an acceptable uh, choice there. Uh, but, uh, I mean, you can try also for 1, for example. So let's say x is 4, y is 1. You end up with 4 plus 1, 5. Square 25, that does not satisfy this. So when you pick x 4, y has to be 0. And then you pick y 4 x has to be 0. So it looks like, of course, when you pick both of them 0, it's OK, because 0 plus 0 squared is 0 less than 17. Uh, so let's say you set x equal to 0, and you start to sweep uh, values for y, starting with 0. Next one is, of course, uh, 0, 1. That's, that's a 2-tuple. Next one as a valid 2-tuple is 0, 2. Next one is 0, 3 next one is 0, 4, as we discussed. You cannot go to 0, 5, because that would not satisfy the given boundary condition for the elements in the tuple. Next one we try is now let's stick with x equal to 1. And of course, 1, 0 is a good choice. So that would be the choice of 0 for y and x, 1. So we're going to keep x, 1 and sweep value for y. Next one is y equal to 1 as well. And then you have 1 plus 1, 2 square 4 less than 17. That's acceptable. And then you can have, of course, 1, 2, because that would be 1 plus 2, 3 square 9. It's less than or equal 17. That's OK. You can go 1 and 3. And that's 1 plus 3, 4 square 16 less than 17. OK. And we know we can't go 1, 4, as we discussed. So next choice is going to 0. So now I'm going to stick with 2, 4, x. And I'm going to sweep value for y. 2, 0 is OK because 2 plus 0 is 4. Uh, 2 plus 0 squared is 4, less than 17. That's OK. You can go to 1. That will give you 2 plus 1 in the parentheses 3 squared 9. That's less than 17. Of course, you can do 2 and 2. That will give you 2 plus 2, 4 squared 16. That's less than 17. And you, of course, you cannot go to 3. So next choice is now we're going to stick with value of 3 for x. The lowest we can go for y is, uh, since it has to be a natural number, is 0. 3 plus 0 is 9. The square is 9. So that's less than 17. It's OK. Now let's keep the value of x at 3, sweep the value for y. So next one is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Square 16. That's less than 17. OK. And we know we cannot go 3, 2. So next choice is 4 for x. And of course, as we discussed at the beginning of this video, uh, whenever x is uh, 
four, the only choice that we can have for y to satisfy the requirement even for this set is four zero, and that would be it. So that these are all the valid two tuples we can have, and in this scenario, uh, how many are there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there are fifteen elements inside this uh, relation set. Uh, and you can say cardinality of uh, relation R, which is a set, is 15. Okay, so um, now, now that we know the, the, how things are connected to each other, uh, we can see that um, effectively if R is a relation defined on the set of natural number as is given here, uh, what is happening is um, for the choices of x and y, they can only be from value from 0 to 4. So obviously, number of vertices or nodes in the digraph or directed graph, this is just directed graph, uh, which is referred to as digraph. So to draw the directed graph, the number of vertices or nodes are 5 because we are dealing with uh, acceptable choices for uh, x or y, be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So um, let's draw. In that case, um, we will have, let's say this is uh, 0. Um, let's say this is 1. Um, so that's another node in the uh, graph, in the digraph. Let's say this is 2, okay, let's say this is 3, and finally uh, here is 4. Okay, how things are connected, you can see that 0 is related to 0. This basically, when you have this two tuple, effectively you're saying in this definition, if x, if there is an x and y, pair of x and y from set of natural number that satisfy this requirement, we would say x is related to y. So the same thing here. Since 0, 0 as a two-tuple is a valid choice, then you would say via this relation, 0 is related to 0, and that translates to a self-loop on node 0. So that's one edge. Each of these two-tuple represent an edge. There are 15 of such edges on the digraph. Now, 0 is connected to 1, so this also means that 0 is related to 1. So, um, for that, you would say um, 0 is related to 1. Let me just redraw, redraw that one. So, uh, 0, okay, 0 is related to 1. Okay, now what's happening is you can also see that 1 is also related to 0, as we discussed before. So that indicates that there is a two-way connection between, um, between these two nodes or vertices in the digraph. Okay, great. Now we have 0 is connected to 2, so effectively we have this connection here. Maybe I use a different color for the vertices, but they should be clear. Um, so maybe I can use, for example, maybe I can use this color to highlight the nodes or vertices on the digraph so that they are not hidden uh, behind the edges that I'm sketching here. Okay, so now zero connects to two. Okay. At the same time, you can see that, um, so this means 0 related to 2. At the same time, you can see that 2 is also related to 0. So it's a two-way connection. So we should have this as well. Okay. And then now we have 0 is related to 3. So there should be this edge in the digraph, directed graph. 
And of course, you can see that 3 is also related to 0. So that means there is also this edge in the die graph. We also have 0 and this 2 tuple here, which indicates 0 is related to 4. So we should have this edge to this direction. And at the same time, we know that 4 is also related to 0. Um, so that we should also have a two-way connection here. So this edge is, is there also. Um, and now let's move on to 1, 1. This two tuple, which means 1 is related to 1. Basically, there is a self-loop on 1. So um, there is this self-loop here. OK. And we have 1, 2. So this means 1 is related to 2. So there should be this connection. Also, we have 2, 1. So that means 2 is related to 1. So we should have this two-way connection, actually. Um, so it goes this way as well. And we have 1, 3, this two tuple. So it's 1 related to 3. So we should have. Uh, it's a li little bit busy, but uh, maybe I use a different color, uh, maybe. So we should have 1 goes to 3. Um, OK, and now we have 3 to 1 as well. So we also have this thing here. So it means it's actually a two-way connection, so we have this as well. OK, and finally, we have 2, 2. So it means 2 is related to 2 via this relation. So there should be a self-loop on 2 as well. Um, OK, so and if you count these, these edges, there should be exactly 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we have accounted for all the two tuples that we found should be in the relation R set. And this would be the digraph. And um, if you're interested to also represent this relation as a matrix, um, so a matrix representing this relation would be a 5 by 5 matrix. Basically, you would say, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you would say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's a 5 by 5 matrix. Okay, and uh, of course, 0 is related to 0. As we have seen, the two tuple is there, this two tuple, and you can see there is a self loop. So we should have a 1 here. Uh, maybe I use a different color. So we should have um, a 1 there representing the self-loop. 0 to 1, we know it's there. 0 to 2, the 2 tuple is there. 0, 3, 2 tuple is there. And 0, 4, 2 tuple is there. 1, 0, yes. We have 1, 0. 1, 1, yes. 1, 2, correct. 1, 3, correct. 1, 4, we don't have it. Uh, 2, 0, of course, 2, 0 is there. 2, 1, yes. 2, 2, correct. 2, 3, no. And 2, 4, absolutely not. 3, 0, correct. 3, 1, yes, it is there. You can see it as well on the, on the diagram. 3, 2, no. 3, 3, of course not. 3, 4, no. 4, 0, correct. 4, 1, no. Uh, 4, 2, no. 4, 3, no. And 4, 4, no. So this is the matrix represent, representation of this relation or this uh, graph. Basically, the rows, number of rows and number of columns is corresponding to the number of vertices or nodes on the digraph, and the number of non-zero element or entries you can see in the matrix should equal to 15, which is the number of two tuples or things that are related to each other. So there are 15 things, non-zero elements or entries in this matrix, as you can count. Um, hope this helps.